Hey everyone, hey guys, doing Grugs here once again with another Legion premiere and I got something really awesome to show you all. This is the Zappos Hatchet in 80 CRV2. Full tang, man, for the price that I got this for, man. I just had to get it and you can't go wrong. All right, everybody, let me know what you are all carrying today. Well, once again, I've got my Cold Steel Ranch Boss 2. Love this knife. Can't go wrong with this knife. It is sharp. It is easy to sharpen and it rocks. Let me know what you all have in the comments section and in the chat section. All right, cool. Let's go over the specs of this hatchet and then we will do some close up look at it, okay? So in the description on uh, Am uh, Amazon, when the knife is too small and the ax is too heavy, it appears, uh, a Zapas hatchet made of 80 CRV2 at 57 to 58 HRC carbon steel, 5.3 millimeter thick. It has a noticeably higher cut to make it the most universal tool possible. The whole thing was painted Ensured, ensuring corrosion resistance. The special shape at the front of the handle and the hole in the blade allow you to grab it closer to the blade, which is helpful even during lighter manual work. The handle is made of ash wood fastened with black screws. It ensures a firm grip, both at the beginning and at the end. The set includes a sheath cover covering the blade made of black cowhide. It is fastened with a clip. It is made by our team. So that's made by them by hand. So let's go over some technical data here. We're looking at a 23 ounce hatchet with a total length of 12.2 inch. And the blade length is 5.2 inch cutting edge over here is 4.4 inch uh, cutting edge height one inch I'm not sure exactly what that means cutting edge height um, okay in any case uh, the sharpened angle for this uh, axe is 25 degrees all right listen I'll put some better specs in the comments and in the description section but I want to get to showing you this awesome awesome hatchet okay um when i saw this i just i had to have it okay i did test out another hatchet from another maker and it was awesome but it was just a little bit short uh Zapasa came out with a hatchet that i think you know rectifies that issue man and Best of all, it's made out of 80 CRV2 steel, which is fantastic, okay? Look at how thick that is, man. That is amazing. That is insane, okay? Kind of wish they had my Carter scales, but I'll take the wood. It's not so bad, all right? I did purchase this with my own money, so if I'm going to do any testing, it will be on Patreon, so stay tuned for that. I will let you all know, okay? But take a look at that axe head. Whew. That is nice. Okay, five millimeters thick, man. It's got a nice, it's got a nice setup over here on the head, man. It is just really nice. Now, you can take a look at the grooving on the handle over here, and then there's a little bird's beak here at the end, and a uh, a lanyard hole for a lanyard, which I am going to be putting one on here. But the fit and finish is. I'm going to say, again, 98% on this. Um, it is nice, really nice. Uh, the axe is just pretty cool, man. Uh, I kind of wish that this was flared out a little more for more more type of, uh, you know, hammering. But, hey, look, this is great. 80 CRV2. This is like a $75 axe. On, uh, I bought this from Lamnia. Um, I think it's a similar price. Uh, on Amazon, I will leave the description and the links. Uh, I'm sorry, I will leave links in the description section in the comment section for you all to go take a look. But man, does this f 
feel really good in the hand, no matter where you place it. And then you got some finger grooves over here that you could just choke up on, right? And I'm hoping that, you know, this is gonna do a little bit of, you know, bushcraft work over here, okay? It does, it did come sharp, okay? It is pretty sharp. So I'm looking forward to testing it out, but I just want you to know that it is, you know, sharp. And uh, should do some, some damn fine chopping. Now, you know, the, obviously they said the hole here is for, you know, a little bit more finer work. I, I don't see it. Um, I, I guess I have to test it out. It does, it feels okay. You know, I kind of feel like there's a little bit of a hot spot right here on my thumb area. But, you know, I got to get the test and I kind of like this option better. You know, but they, they put that hole there for a purpose. Be quite honest with you, I would rather have seen this, you know, not there. Just make it one solid piece of steel. But I'm sure it's going to come through with, uh, you know, flying colors, man. So, but look how nice and thick that is. 80 CRV2 for like under under 75 bucks. All right. It's got a nice profile. Check that out, man. It's it's really nice. And now you know some manufacturers out there, they're selling some of these axes from $500 to $1,000. You know, an 80 CRV2 from some, uh, some makers. So I think it's just nuts. So the same steel, I mean, it's gotta make you, you gotta make one wonder, you know, what, what they're thinking. But if these guys from Poland can manufacture something like this for, you know, less than a hundred dollars, you know, it's just gotta make you wonder what's going on, man. Why so, why is some of this stuff so expensive? I digress. Let's take a look at this uh, ax head sheath. Pretty nice, man. Let me tell you, it's a nice thick leather, okay? There's the welting over there. Is that what it's called, welting? Hand stitched. It's got stainless steel hardware, it seems. Snap. I mean, this is really nice. So let's pop this in. That is some ax head, you know? I, I really do like it. Boom, there you go. You're protected from getting hurt. Okay, and you can just throw this in your pack if it's got some of the Molly uh, compatible, uh, you know, uh, <clears throat> option on, on your backpack or on your vest or whatever. You know, you could just slip this right in there and you have an ax that you could take with you. And don't tell me that's not gonna break a window. You know, you hit a nice window with this. Uh, granted, it's not a spike. Who knows, maybe they'll come out with a spiked version, you know? Um, but I've seen I've seen this on Zappa's website and a soldier had it on his backpack. You know, I don't know if it's real, but uh, why not? You know, it's a nice, it's a pretty lightweight hatchet and it's got the length over here with the handle. It's not too thick. It's not too thin. Um, it just feels really good. And, you know, unfortunately you won't be able to appreciate it unless you have one in your hand. So yeah, man, I mean, I still don't get the hole. I still don't get the hole, man. Kind of wish this was, you know, full steel, but what are you gonna do? <clears throat> I think that this would have been enough right here just to do the, whatever it was needed. So I'm looking forward to testing this out and see how it works out, man. 80 CRV2 for, for less than 80 bucks. So go check it out on Amazon or Lamnia in Europe. <clears throat> now, if you've seen my previous videos, uh, um, for the Zapas series with the Ashwood handles, okay, you will you'll notice that I bought three out of the four of those knives from uh, Lamnia. I got free shipping. I reached one hundred fifty dollars, and I got free shipping. It arrived at my doorstep in two days. Two days from Finland. Can you imagine? Two days from Finland, man. So huge shout out to Lamnia. But again, you have to spend 150 bucks. So, uh, and you know, purchasing these, this ax with the two uh, with the two other knives from uh, Zapas um, hit me right at 150, man. So, I got a really great deal. Uh, can't go wrong, can't go wrong, and I can't wait to test it, man. So, really, really, really excited. And I, you know, I just hope that you uh, enjoyed this video. But check that out, man. That is some freaking axe head. 
kind of a nice little beard over there. And uh, I'm just looking forward to seeing how it performs, man. You know, 80 CRV2 steel. Let's see if I can show you. I don't know if that, that's visible or not, but yeah. And, uh, you know, they put paint on it, I guess, because 80 CRV2 does patina, you know, and if you're not careful, if you're not maintaining it, um, <clears throat> it'll rust, but they put uh, a coating on this. I am very curious to see how the coating is going to hold up for this uh, axe. But, you know, I want to I wanna put these guys on the map, man, because, you know, they got some other knives, some other tactical knives and fixed blade knives at extremely reasonable prices and really good steel, too. Um, so uh, my son got me a couple for Father's Day. Uh, he'll be shipping them out to me uh, for Father's Day. And hopefully they'll get here and I could, you know, once again, do these Legion premieres. And um, I'm hoping, fingers crossed, that Zapas has sent me a couple of knives. Because I want to, you know, I want to do a collaboration with those guys. And, uh, you know, if I if I personally buy the knives, they I'm going to try and put them on Patreon. And, uh, you know, to help out the channel. And those that I, you know, collaborate will be shown on YouTube for obvious reasons. So... All right, troops, if you don't have any other questions, man, I'm just going to show you this one last time. This badass axe. I love this handle, man. Love it. It is just perfect, man. It is just perfect. I mean, look at how many options that you have to grip on this, you know? You find your favorite spot and you swing away, man. You know, you can really do some close-up work over here. Again, I just don't get this hole but it's another option you know if, if there's some people out there that'll be able to use this you know maybe with skinning or something or caping uh, I, I i couldn't tell you what you know there, there is this option there so i can't i can't rule it out me personally i would rather have this solid one solid piece but um the designer must have had figured something out and worked something for him for this to you know for him to to add this hole over here you know so there you go troops i hope you enjoyed this let me know in the comments below and in the chat all right that's it good to go man good to go can't go wrong oh just real quick again for the collector another awesome box nothing fancy very simple their logo made in poland and some information for contact okay website very simple let me see if there's oh yeah Here's a logo right here. Hatchet, ADC RV2, Ashwood, leather, black, and scan code. Can't go wrong, man. Can't go wrong. Um, one good thing about Lamnia is that they respect, you know, what they ship. Lamnia had sent all this stuff in a, in a beautiful box, all with, you know, the peanuts the, 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 and bubble wrap and stuff like that. So rest assured, if you do decide to spend your money at Lamnia, okay, you will get your product in, you know, uh, well packed, that's for sure. And if you spend up to 150 bucks, you get free shipping and you will get it in two days. That's what I got mine in, man, two days. All right, troops, um, let me bring awareness to everybody. Hashtag 22 a day, hashtag 22 a day. No more, there are veterans in active military that once they get out of the service, they do face a lot of challenges. And unfortunately, one of these challenges is suicide. So. Once we're done with this video, go check out the phone numbers, give them a call, go check out the websites and uh, check out that heartfelt message from Martin Miller. All right. He's one of your own Vietnam veterans, 66 to 69. Please seek the help that you all have earned and deserved. At the ready troops, hold the line. You guys take care.